Okay, this is going to be really great, you guys. Um, I'm going to have to do this, obviously, in a, in a lot of parts. This is going to look great in your kitchen, framed up, um, and you're going to be really proud of this work. This is actually going to be a work of art, so um, uh, take your time on it. Don't rush it. Um, you're going to be really, really proud of this. So we're just going to get started here on um, the banana. Um, the reason I want to start at the banana is because I want to work our way down so we don't smear it, okay? And with this work, you're going to be spending so much time on it. So I do want you to um, make sure uh, you put a piece of paper um, upside down like this um, underneath your hand as we progress our work so that you don't ruin um, what's underneath it. All right, so um, let's kind of get started here. Now, the first thing we want to do with our banana is we want to... Uh, base it with the colors. I'll try to put the colors up as we move along here. So let's do um, a base here. And what we want to do is use some eggshell first. And I just want to kind of base it out. Oh, my, my pencil is a little dirty, but that's okay. Bananas are dirty. That's all right. Bananas are dirty. It's okay. I like the imperfections, so it's okay by me. Okay, so anyways, so we're just going to just put a nice light coat. I'm going the direction of the banana with the eggshell. Nice light coat, see? You'd think that you'd start with a yellow, right? But in my case, I want to have a nice undercoat. Okay. Now for those of you that are students, this is really great um, because learning how to do fruit, um, especially if you can learn how to do something like this, is a really good study for you. Okay, and for those of you that are coloring in coloring books, this is great. This is, and also just just to do this is really nice. It's a fun fun thing to do. Um, and when you're done, you can put the like I, I like I say just to put put one in your kitchen. I have one in my kitchen. It's just it's great. It looks pretty and it's fun to do and. It's just a nice piece of art to have, to know you did it, you know, yourself, you know. This is a nice, nice good art study for you. Okay, so just take your time and base it in. Okay. See, I'm just doing it nice and light. It's, it's even okay if you go over this little stem because it's going to be based in dark anyways. Okay, but I just want to get that uh, nice little base, okay? And this is where the banana, the little stem is of our banana, so we want to get that in here, and that's okay there. All right, so now we have that in here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to give it um, a little bit of a greenish tint. So let's take the pale sage, okay, and let's start giving it a little bit of a greenish tint on the pale, on the on the peel. See how I'm just lightly kind of going alongside of this peel a little bit, just a little bit, maybe up in here, and then let's kind of come alongside here, just where the peel is, right? So we'll have a little glow on the peel area, and then we maybe want to come down in here a little bit, right? Because in here it's going to kind of maybe have a little glow of color down in here, just a bit, okay? Just a little bit of green, maybe down in here on the stem it's got a little bit of green. Okay, and then maybe in here. Don't worry about putting too much. We're going to add lots of layers, okay? And a little bit of green in here. And like I said, that's a little dirty here, which I don't mind, because like I say, bananas are dirty, so I'm not worried about that. All right, now let's grab some lime, some lime peel. And then with the lime peel, what I'm going to do here is just add a little bit more hint. See? Just... A little hint of uh, the lime pill. Just see ever so slightly. Just 
a little bit. See, not much, just a little bit. We're going to be blending that in, so never fear here. We're just, just follow along here with me, okay? All right. Now, let's go ahead and add some, um, some, uh, let's see, let's do some lemon yellow, okay? So, make sure your pencil's nice and sharpened, and let's grab some lemon yellow here, and let's start blending a little bit with some lemon yellow, right here, maybe where it's nice and bright, right in this area here. We're going to use some lemon yellow. And we'll put some yellow lemon yellow in here. This is where it's a little bit brighter. This is because this is a really bright lemon yellow. And maybe we'll put a little up in here. Okay, just a little bit. We don't want too much of the lemon yellow there. And then let's grab our deco yellow. And with our deco yellow, let's start putting in some deco yellow. All right over our base. Okay, be sure we go around our little peach there. Okay, go around our apple. Okay, and now I'm going over that, go over the lemon yellow and just go the direction of our banana. so that that green is not looking like a just a stripe you know we want it to kind of fade in a little bit okay and this all right now all righty now of course we do not want it to look like a piece of clip art right so we I have to start adding our dimensions and shading, okay? So let's grab some um, uh, some uh, sand color, all right? So we're going to grab some sand. And with the sand color, we want to start giving it a little bit of shading with the sand, okay? So take some sand color. And the sand is going to give it, start shading it a little bit if down in here. Okay, maybe up in your little, where this, uh, up in here maybe a little bit. Just start giving it a little bit of shade. You want to start giving it a little of dimension, you know. start looking a little bit more realistic okay now down in here we want it to be a little bit more shadier right we're gonna add some shade in here okay nice circular strokes all right now right here where our this where our two bananas are kind of and then let's add a little bit of like a break here, like a little, like a little um, just to give it a little shade here. Let's give it some shade. See how I'm just putting a little. Giving it some oomph here with this. Okay, we're gonna do it over here too. Okay, just giving it, starting to give the banana a little bit of shape. Mm -hmm. And some color. It's fun, huh? Doing fruit is really fun. This one's going to look really good in your kitchen. You're going to love it. All right. 
So now it's starting to look like a banana. All right. Now we can maybe come up in here, maybe give it a little bit of shade up in here. A little bit of shade up in here. Yeah. It just adds a lot of, um, you know, like the character to our banana, so it's not just a yellow, boring piece of clip art banana, right? We want it to look real, as real as we can. That's our goal. So let's put a little more shade in here, huh? So now just nice, lightly, doing a little bit more shade in here, right in here, okay, come up alongside of here, maybe, okay, and then down in here, want some more shade, right where it's Shade in here. Okay. Alrighty. Now we gotta add something here. Go back and play with this oh. a bit. Alright. Starting to come along there, isn't it? Okay. Now I think what we need to do is let's grab a little bit of some um uh, let's see what color we need here. I want some goldenrod. Let's grab some goldenrod. And with the goldenrod, what we need to do is start giving it a little bit more shade in here. Alright, so I'm lightly adding some shade in here because I want it to be, you know, down in this area here. See where I'm really starting to bring the shade out? And again, remember like when we're doing this, this stuff, we don't really know how much shade we want yet until our picture is done because we haven't put in the other fruits yet. But we can just start adding a little bit. And go back in and always touch it up later. But at least for now, we can put in some, you know. I'll add a little bit in here more. Up against here, maybe. Just lightly add a little. Like I say, we're going to go back in and mess around with it later, but just for now, so we can. Okay, now you put some in here. Okay. Maybe have a little accent, maybe a little darker in here, huh? So, okay. And then I think maybe we need some, uh, maybe a little in here, maybe darken it in here a little bit. See, I'm just nice and lightly just putting this in. And like I say, we can go back in when our fruit's done and add more as we need. But for right now, we'll just blocking it in. So we can start giving it the love it needs. Let's give it a little bit of color in here, huh? I got nice little where the bunch is, huh? You know where the bunch of the where it all starts to gather. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of shade in here. Alright, 
There you go. You might want to bring that down. Now maybe you want to add maybe a little bit, maybe more lime peel in here. Maybe it's not quite so ripe. I mean, yeah, at the, you know what I mean? Right, you want to put a little bit more green in here. Then take the, you can use your pale sage to blend it. And then you can, if it's too much, then you go grab your, um, you can use cream. Cream is a blender. Use some cream. Okay. And that gives it a little, kind of a little waxy look also. It's a good blender, gives it your waxy look. And also, because we're gonna, this is gonna be a finished piece, um, we want to use our, um, I'm using cream, okay, and you want to use cream here, and you just use your cream color and just blend it. And blend it here with the cream too, it just kind of helps the blending. Blend it out. Blend it out. Okay, we'll come back in and mess around with it to get it perfect later. Okay, now let's take some um, some uh, chocolate here, and with the chocolate color, let's uh, lightly give it a little here, and then maybe make it darker in here. Okay. Darker here, and then maybe do the same in here. Kind of blending it in, and then darkening it here. All right, and then just a nice blend. Blending it in. Just give it our little. Area chocolate, and then maybe you can grab your some dark umber if you really want to darken this up a little bit more in some of the areas. You know how some of it's not always quite one color. You want to add some dimensions of color in there just for the realism of it. We'll come back later, but you can use your um, your uh, eggshell if you'd like, and just kind of. Blend that in, just mush it up a little bit. Mush this up a little bit. Use that as a blend blender. You know I use the word mush. Mush it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright, we'll come back later. Of course, this is just a step, but looks like a banana to me, huh? Okay. Now how about uh, let's work on our apple. We've done apples before. Alright, so let's um do pale sage here. Now what I love about this is that, um, especially when you're doing uh, working with grayscale, this is called grayscale, okay, where it's not all just an outline of black and white, it's got kind of the shades in there for you. And I lightened it up a lot so that you don't have a lot of real dark edges, uh, which I really like about this, is I, I really um, took time to lighten it up for you so that way when you color it in, um, it'll look really, really good for you. Um, so anyway, what we want to do here is um, we've got to establish where our light areas are, okay? And as you can see, light areas would be here and over here, all right? So what we'll do is with our um, pale sage, let's just kind of just go along our edges where we know how we're going to want our um, apple to go. And remember, we go the way we want our apple uh, to go. Remember, we learn this in our other techniques with apples. So now it's all going to be paying off, right? Now their final... You could put everything we learned all together now, but you're going to learn more things too. We've got mangoes and we got different colored grapes. What we're going to do, alright? So now I'm leaving a little highlight here because I want to highlight, so I'm just... See how I'm just... Putting that in here, but I want to leave this area open. 
Okay, because this is the area where I want my uh, light to be. So I'm just, see, feathering it in. See, anybody see how I'm doing that? Just feathering my area in nicely. Just putting in a nice blend. See? And then in here, I want it to be the same way. Nicely putting it in, eh? blending it in. Okay. Come down in here. Alright. Now I already know it's going to want to be darker, so I don't mind putting a little bit more pressure down in here. Because it is going to be darker down in this area. So I'm just putting in a little bit more and then blending it up. See? Just blend it. Blending it in. Okay. Alright. Now we got to do this little area in here. So we're just going to fill in this green. Here with our pale sage, let's fill in this area. Okay, nice green, nice pale sage. We want to come around. All right, like so. All right. So now we have got our apple. All right. Got our little shape going at least. All right. Okay, so now we got our areas of our lights. Okay. A little bit of highlight going so we kind of know what's up. Now we can kind of come in and um, put in some more colors. So let's take a um, our deco yellow. And with the deco yellow, let's start adding a little bit of um, color along the sides here, you know, to make our apple look a little bit more 3D-ish, a little bit more juicier, maybe ripe right about here, huh? I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow along these edges, a little, maybe a little up here, okay, and then how about maybe one a little over here, Okay, just put a little, just a little yellow over here. Okay. You might want a little up in here too if you want. Okay. However much you want for your apple. Um, you can always come back in, add some more if you want later. Alright, but I think that's a good amount, right about like that, that's good. Alright, now what we want to do is let's add some spring green. Spring green is a good color because it's kind of like a yellowy um, green and it adds a nice bright color to this apple. So I'm just going to put some spring green in here, nice, now there's spring green. Okay, and I'm going to start adding some color in here, spring green, put some spring green in the middle, it's, it's a nice bright kind of a yellowy green, right? Bring some down in here. Okay. Come in here. All right, now, now we got to start burnishing and getting our apple to look like an apple, right? So let's take our our lime peel now, and with our lime peel, we got to start coming around with our lime peel, and let's start. 
bringing in a little bit of color now with our lime pill. Okay. Now I know I want this area here to be a little darker, so I'm gonna just kind of come around like this. Okay, where I know it's gonna be a little bit darker, right? And then I wanna come around here. My apple. And then I'm gonna have let's see, I'm gonna think about what's where I don't wanna go over where my um my highlight is, so I want to put some lime pill in here. Alright. So now I'm just starting to add a little bit more lime pill. Adding more layers because now we got to start making it look like an apple. kind of going into this little area here where it's my highlights are going in here now I'm just coming down lightly over here because I don't want to lose my highlight okay just keep putting in those layers over here Come along this side here. And then lightly, lighter, just feather it in nice and light. Okay. Alright. Leave some areas of lighter, leave some areas of darker. Patchy's okay. Doing apples. Patchy's alright. Come around your grape area here. Alright, now I'm going to start having it darker around here. And come around your, your, come around your, uh, your other fruit here. And see, I'm being careful because I don't want to ruin where my other fruit's going to go. Now I'm starting to add some shades, as you notice. See, I'm starting to, this is darker obviously because this is where it's going to, okay, now start bringing it up, bringing your shades up, your apple, keep going the shape of your apple. And just keep working it. See? Very easy now. I'm just going up. I'm just now I'm just blending it up. Okay, just like so. Okay, and here I just wanna make sure I keep my highlight right. Going around my grape area here, right, because this is where uh, this apple is going to be, I'm sitting here, but I still want to keep the highlight, so I'm just kind of fading that in there a little, just keeping a little highlight. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, now what we got to do is we need to start doing some, let's grab some artichoke, some shading. So let's take some artichoke, and with our artichoke, let's start, give it some shade down in here. See how I'm just shading it like this. Okay, coming 
now. My shade. Okay. See, I'm just bringing up the shading here where I want the apple to have some shade underneath. And like I was said, we're, we, we're going to have to go back in when we're done because as the fruit starts developing its little character, we're going to go back in and add shades and things like that to it. But the, the thing is, is that you got to pull your head back. And when you pull your head back a little bit, you're going to start noticing, you know, like pull your head back from your picture and sort of squint. You can see how it's all starting to come together. Uh, you know, let's use some artichoke down in here. All right, let's start shading this area in with some artichoke in here where your little bowl is, right? Use that, that area here. Okay. And then just keep adding another layer. Okay. Now um, you might want to get to start adding a little bit in here across the top. It's got a little shade in here. A little bit across the top. A little bit up in here. Okay. Okay. It's already looking good, huh? Looking better. Looking like a nice little apple. Coming along, you just gotta work with it. Remember, apples take a little bit of time. Okay. Give it some over here too. Give it some shade over on this side. Okay, let's grab our lime peel again now. And with our lime peel now, I'm gonna sharpen it. Make sure your pencil sharpened. And then start coming back in with another layer. Okay, and go over it, burnish that area in, and start coming back in, and down over your bullet here, because you want to start getting it to look a lot more rich, and getting those Apples getting in a little bit deeper. The color. Now I'm going sideways a little bit here because I'm starting started to see a little bit too many directional strokes for me, so I'm kind of blending it out. See how I'm kind of going sideways? Um, because I want mine blended out a little bit more. So, this is kind of little circular motions of mine here. could do the same thing with yours. Okay. Now, you could take a, your white. Take a white. And with your white, you can just go across here and just kind of highlight your area out a little bit. Go over your apple to kind of give it that waxy look. And use your white to go over your apple like this and some you don't have to go all the way down into your shaded areas, but you 
can just use your white just to blend these areas out. But then you got to go back in um, and add more of your shades because the white is taking some of that out as you can see. So I mess it up. <laughs> you know how I do it. I mess it up and then I go back in and then I got to re-put in some of it. But that's how I get it to look a little bit more real um, because what it does is, as you can see here, see how it it's it's fading it in to give it a nice natural fade. You see how this is all kind of fading in, okay? But I I did I'm i i it messes up my original shading. That's okay. I don't care if I mess it up because I'm gonna go back in and re add it. I'm gonna go back in and re add it. Okay, which is fine. I don't. That's okay. It's all part of my madness. It's a method. There's a method to my madness because I really want it to look nice and real. Okay, so this is just basically what I'm doing as my, um, like like my blocking. So I blocked it all out, and I've got my apple looking snazzy. Okay, like the way I want it. I got my areas all blocked out. All blocked out, right? So now what I want to do now. I gotta go back and kind of pull my what I do so that you know is I pull my head back a little bit and I kind of look at it and see okay where what do I need here like do I like the way that this is fading which I love I love how this part's fading it all looks natural how it, the highlight is here um, and it could scratch out maybe a little bit more in here a little bit you know I want this to be a little bit more here see I right in here. I want that out a little bit. So I'm just kind of messing around in the hair just, just to get it a little bit more. Okay, so now I want to grab some um, lemon yellow and I just want to add a little bit more yellow in here. So I'm taking some ye lemon yellow alright, and I'm just adding a little layer. See what that's doing is it's, add, it's really brightening up this apple a little bit. See how it's just adding a nice highlight to, to this one area here and I'm going to do the same thing over here now All right. just adding just really want to get this to have a nice highlight to it before I go back now with I'm going to take that lime peel now and now with the lime peel I'm going to come in the lime peel and start again okay And I'm going to start adding layers. I'm a lot more careful this time because I don't want to mess up where I spent all that time in here. So I'm just nice and coming in now and going over everything to get a nice rich overall color. Okay, I'm going around circles here and I don't want to mess up where my highlight is so I'm being careful as to where that's going here. Okay, and I'm just coming in here and adding more. Alright. And I want it to be a little bit more greener over here. Alright, got a nice green. We'll go in here. My pencil should be sharper, but that's all right. Oof. Oof. All right. Okay. We can go back in here a little bit later and do some more things. Now I'm gonna take a um, a shading color. Okay, and I'm gonna take some olive green. And with the olive green, I want to add little bit of olive green down here. See how olive green just adds another little bit of shadow down in here. Okay, just take this here, add a nice some olive green to there, right? Along this base here. Okay. 
And again, we'll come back and play around with it after we're, you know, after we're uh, done and we know where we want more, where we want our shadows. But for now, we've got the idea here. Okay, so I'm just going to add in a little bit of shadow with the olive green. All right. Might put in some espresso later, but all right. But it already looks pretty nice. Okay, now let's take our olive green and we want to have it darker in here. Along this edge here, all right. Okay, okay, that's our all green there. And then now let's take um, our artichoke and let's go like this with our artichoke on our stem okay and then let's take a chocolate and then we're gonna go right alongside the chocolate so it has a nice stem on it and then I'm going to take a dark umber and with the dark umber, I'm going to just go right along the bottom, a little bit along the bottom. My eyes are not that good, but you can play along with the stem. And on the dark umber, I'm just going to put a little bit of that down in here to give it a little bit of shade. Okay, and then we can come back in. Uh, you can put some dark umber down in here if you'd like. But like I say, we'll come back and do that a little later. But if you really like to have fun and see your picture kind of coming along as you go, you can have some fun and put, throw in some shades. Okay. All right, that's starting to come along. All right. And there you go. There's part one. There's part one. Okay of our beginning of our beautiful fruit um, bunch <laughs> our fruit bunch okay so we, we're, we've got we got still a lot to go uh, but I hope that you're enjoying this um, series on fruits this is gonna look really great in your kitchen and you're gonna have fun doing it now we're gonna come back we're gonna do peaches and some grapes and we got our mangoes and all kinds of things so I will see you in the in uh, part two ciao